Hi, Duck here. Uh, this is a little video drop giving an update. Um, actually, a uh, car just hit over 8,000 miles, and you may recall I bought the car uh, the day after Christmas uh, with about 3,000 miles on it, which means I hit the 5,000 mark for me. Um, and so I actually have an appointment this weekend uh, to drop off the car at uh, Boardwalk Lotus in uh, Redwood City, California, uh, for some warranty work. Um, even though this car has been a dream to own, honestly, uh, like all new cars, and in particular Lotuses perhaps, there are some uh, niggles or problems. Uh, my car perhaps has more uh, issues because it had a hard early life. Uh, as you may recall, this car was actually the uh, US demo car uh, for a number of the uh, auto testing uh, magazines, uh, such as the uh, Road and Track uh, shootout where this thing took second place, uh, coming right behind the uh, brand new uh, Acura NSX. So anyway, uh, with such a harsh life, uh, there are some things which need to be addressed. And so that's what we're going to do this weekend. In this video, I'll quickly document uh, some of those niggles um, and then give you a follow-up as to how they may address them. Uh, from the exterior and engine and suspension standpoint, there's basically no problems. Uh, the only issue that I have suspension-wise is that uh, going over slow uh, speed, uh, speed bumps, the suspension does uh, creak or squeak a little bit. Uh, so perhaps a bushing or something needs a little lubrication. Uh, but otherwise, the uh, chassis, suspension, and engine have been absolutely bulletproof. The vast majority of my problems have been actually interior based. First and foremost is uh, the uh, airbag light, which is right here, uh, actually stays on um, even when I start the car up, as you'll see. So the airbag light stays on, um, and so obviously that's a problem. Other problems with the interior include, uh, this is the uh, sun visor and the clip doesn't hold. Uh, if you look closely, I think the uh, plastic detent is stuck up where it's on the driver passenger side. Um, I don't know if I can videotape that well, but uh, it comes down and clips, obviously. Other issues, uh, this dash actually rattles over uh, bumps. You hear a little rattle inside there. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, but something inside the dash is uh, loose or rattling around a little bit, which uh, thankfully most of the roads here are pretty smooth, but uh, when you do hit a rough uh, pass, it does rattle around a little bit, a bit and is a little annoying. Or in the back of the interior, there is this uh, higher pitch chatter that occurs when uh, I hit bumps. And so you hear this little almost sounds like uh, how on old cars the uh, convertible top uh, is sort of... Uh, floating on uh, dry rubber makes that chattering sound. I get that sound over bumps from the rear of the car and so that also is kind of disconcerting. Uh, the seats uh, are very comfortable for me, um, but there are some problems with the seats. Number one is that, um, hard to see here perhaps, but all the bolsters are essentially untucked. Uh, see, the bolsters are all untucking. Uh, could I fix it myself? I probably can't tuck it in myself, but I'd rather uh, have it documented so that it becomes a recurring problem they can just replace my seats or address it accordingly. And they're happening both on the upper bolsters, you can see here, as well as the lower bolsters. The uh, side airbag covers have also developed uh, some damage. Uh, there's a crack here, which I think this perhaps caught the foot of my son or something like that. Uh, but whether, whatever the cause is, it's obviously caused a crack here, which I want to address. The side bolts here also have developed some rust, and I'm not sure why that is. I don't think you'd expect a car uh, with uh, less than uh, 10,000 miles to develop rust on uh, the main hardware of the uh, seats, and so I want those addressed. Just come up here on the uh, passenger side of the rear. One last little issue is uh, when the wipers, uh, when the windshield washer is on, if the headlights aren't on at the same time, the wipers don't actually uh, automatically engage. You actually have to turn the, the uh, turnstock to make them engage. Whereas when the lights are on, the headlight washers go off and the windshield wiper uh, sweeps. And so I think that's uh, an issue which needs to be addressed. Overall, I've been very pleased with the car. Uh, I have no regrets whatsoever uh, with the purchase. Um, but these are little niggles, uh, basically all interior things, which don't uh, detract from uh, the experience of driving the car. But since we're under warranty and it's early on, I want to get them all documented. So if there are any parts that need to be ordered, uh, they have plenty of lead time because, as you know, this is my daily driver. And so the plan is we're going to drop it off tomorrow and then uh, give him a little time 
to uh, address the things. And so then when I get back, pick up the car and uh, resume daily driving the car. Anyway, hope that was very helpful in uh, understanding a little bit more about the car. And uh, I'll give you another drop when we get an update. Thanks.